Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I'm going to be opening my shards on both accounts. Um, today is D Day. Can I make the free to play catch up for my mistakes before? And I guess we've got the two times chance on Sacreds anyway. So we're going to be doing Sacred Shards in the main. Uh, we're going to be checking out the new summon, uh, the, sorry, the new champion chase and see what that looks like. Uh, and there's also something I just want to throw out there because I caught this during the news this morning. And it's not something we've had any extra news on. But from tomorrow, the 15th of July through, through to Wednesday, 19th, they're going to be doing a champion training event. It says here, with great rewards. We don't know what those great rewards are. And I don't know if... Actually, I'm just going to check. Have we had it drop? We've had it drop here. There's no, like, image of... I, I thought it could be either the Nut Finite skin, which would be pretty cool. Or the new champion Valkanen. But I think they would do some artwork which would make that make more sense. So it could just literally be a champion training event as normal. Don't know. It's just weird they've called it out as an extra thing. They don't normally call this stuff out. And honestly, they don't normally do it over a weekend, you know, lapping over a fusion unless it's something bigger. So I guess just keep an eye on it over the weekend. It might be something you want to get interested in or not. Obviously, generally what they do is like, put you in with either 100 people or 250 people to try and get that top prize. So they're normally a bit of a grind, well, they're a massive grind anyway, but uh, just, just keep what, uh, an eye out for it. So let's check out the Champion Chase for today. Champion Chase tournament up here. It's basically the last thing to get done if you've been up to date. Yeah, I think my main account here, I'm totally good. I uh, don't need this extra dude here. I just literally need this Void fella. My free to play, I need this void fella, and I've got to find an extra two of the other fella as well, or an extra epic. So the free to play at the moment, before this shard pool, is looking pretty grim. Now, what have we got going on here? 3,200. Wow. That's about an extra legendary champion worth of pools more than we normally see. That's high. 32 is high. Oh, what a brutal way to end this event when a lot of people are in the mix. Oh, man, that's a brutal one. Okay, so 3,200. I mean, if you look at... And this one comes down to a bit of luck because it's way more points if you get a legendary champion. Yeah, if, if let's say you pull Ancients to get over the line, you know, you've got the difference between pulling a rare, which is worth 10, and pulling a legendary, which is worth 500, just on the roll of a dice on the luck. So this is going to be a brutal amount to get to. I just don't forget you can top up with mystery shards. You know, you can top up over the weekend. We've got quite a number of days here. Don't have to do it in the first three minutes. We've got three days. So if you become relatively close, you could be like, right, I'm buying up everything I see in the market. Yeah, you could literally buy up every single, um, even commons, worth a point. Yeah, cheap and worth the same amount as the other dude. So every time that market refreshes, you could go and get that champion. Uh, you could go and you know, continue farming campaign and get champions. I know it's only a point a pop or 10 points if you get a rare, but it might end up being the difference between you getting this fusion or not. Over the course of three days, you could rack up a few hundred points doing that. Okay. I know it's not going to necessarily get you to the 3200, but if you're in the mix, then it could be the difference. The other thing, which you might have already been saving for, I've mentioned this a bunch of times, but hopefully you've saved your rares at this point so that when you fuse them into the epics, you get the 250 points per epic. Actually, 350 for this dude. Yeah, so that's all extra points. I suppose this one's harder to do because you probably need this rare before you can get this dude. Um, but other champions as well, like if you've got these rares for Relic Keeper, he's worth 250. This Broadmoor's worth 350. If you've got the Razin champions, they're worth uh, 250 each. If you've been doing the fragment, or if you've been saving fragment summons, these are all worth, um, you know, the, the rares here worth 250. The, the legendary is worth 500. So it might be that you can get, you know, a good chunk of the way with other points outside of just pulling shards. I've got my Dark Kale that I can literally go and get. Um, I, I need to go and do some secret rooms. Finally! Dark Kale is going to be coming on the main account. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the mix here. I'll do my main account first. Uh, I will say we're going to be doing shard pulls on stream tonight. Me and Lady H 
at 7 p.m. UTC. That's 8 p.m. UK. That's like 3 p.m. EST, I think. Yeah, come and, come and join us. Right, I'm going to start with my sacreds here on the main. Got four of them. Hoping for a juicy neck Mothar, as always. Not really too fussed about some of these epics popping out. But even with the two times chance, don't forget, it's still only a 12% chance per shard to get a legendary champion. It's still low. I've only got four in the mix here. I've not bought any at this point. I guess I'll see. I do need to get to 3,200 points. So the credit card might be coming out. Pretty much a bunch of trash there. Drop, drop some Ancients. I'd just love to see. Even on the Ancients, getting Epics makes such a difference for your point scoring. Like two Epics in the mix. That's brilliant. On a Temple, honestly. It's about like 580 points there versus I could have just got 100 points if that was all rares. Like it's so RNG related on this sort of stage uh, for Champion Chase. Especially with Ancients here. Another Lone Blade. That's what I need on the free to play. I need some of that to pop out. We will see in a minute. Another epic. Good. I'm getting a fair amount of epics here, which is definitely improving my chances uh, like significantly. So I think I should be good on the main without having to dip into the wallet, which is what I'm after. Going to pop any gold, though? Any gold. What we had there? I must have. I'm probably pretty close to it already, actually. I might already be there. Go on, hit me with some gold. The dreaded 10 blues. Not what you want to see. Let's see where I'm at. Yes, yes. Packs, packs, packs. Okay, we got him already. That's good. What am I at here? I basically just got over the line. Perfect. Okay, so I can save whatever I've got left. The measly amount of shards left are going to be saved. And this dude, um, and actually, I've told you all of the good stuff, and then I didn't even do it myself. I didn't even. Follow my own tip in the video and get points this way. I'll do that later on though because I'm going to get myself more points. I'll probably only get the next legendary book on the main. Let's jump to the free to play and pray for a miracle. Right then, here we are on the free to play. I've got way more resources, honestly, in terms of shards and stuff. So you know, that side of it is looking fine. The problem is I missed, I did a video earlier this week. I'm up, I'm up to nine of the little fellas and we've got... I've got to finish this Dungeon Diver here today, which I should do now. But it's been a tough Dungeon Diver, honestly. Really, really tough. So I've got the other Void to get there. I need to finish the Finite, which I'll do whilst doing Dungeon Diver. So that's going to get me one more. So I'm going to be at 10 of the little fellas. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm at 10. I'm at 10 and I'm going to have enough of the Void. So I've got to find, because I've got 10... I've done to have enough of the voids once I've done Champion Chase. I need to find either this epic whilst I'm pulling shards, or I need to find two of these rares extra. It's so unlikely, honestly. It's so unlikely. Oh, man. I've got 43 Ancients. I've got eight Sacreds on the free-to-play. This is it. And I've, I'm gutted because I, I feel like I've pushed... On this account a lot. Some people are saying in my last video. Maybe you fed some of the rares. It's possible. But I feel like it's so unlikely. Because to feed them. I would literally be having to. You know you, know you get the warning right. You get the warning if you're going to feed. Any of these dudes that's got the little circle on it. So I would have to have been so brain dead to do it. But clearly something's gone wrong. I've either just missed a couple of events. Or I don't know. But it does mean I'm going to have to pull kind of all my sacreds here. I've got eight to get that epic. Unless I start, maybe I start with the ancients on the free to play. Start with the ancients and see if I pull the rares as I go. Let's do this. Oh, a couple of things I hadn't mentioned actually. So I've got Scylla the Drakes waiting. Bam, 500 points. That's just lucky timing, honestly. That's really lucky timing right there. I've also been sitting on Drex. So Drex is waiting to come home. Um, bam. Another 500 points. So I'm going to smash the champion chase. That's not a problem for this account at all. 
double legendary. That's a thousand points in the bag through prep. And honestly, I can go and get Archmage as well if I want. Plus, I've got the extra points here. Yeah, so all of this, all of the point scoring for this stuff is actually, for this account, kind of easy. Uh, annoyingly, I've done all of that prep. But what I haven't done is made sure I've got enough of these bloody, <laughs> these bloody rares. So anyway, yeah, from, from that side, I'm good. I've made some room. Let's do this. I need to find two of these rares or the epic. That's what we need. Two or the epic. That's a fail. Come on. Come on, Raid. Give me some luck here. I actually need some luck right now. Nothing else is going to help me apart from straight up luck. Nothing there. Oh, it's so brutal. So damn brutal. There's no way back if you've missed any of these fellas. Apart from pure luck. Nothing there. Oh man, this is my last temple. Come on. Come on. That sucks a lot. Sucks a lot. I might as well do the last three. Oh, so, so brutal. I'm going to end up coming out of this fusion with nada. And using all my stuff. Oh, man. Tarshan, it's not the time for you. Literally, all I can hope for is I find one of these epics. That's it. What's this guy's name? That's all I can hope for. One of those epics out of these sacreds. I've got eight. Man, come on. Not you. Not you. Not you. <laughs> it's like a one in a hundred. It's like the, the chance of me pulling a legendary out of an, a, an ancient right now. Corpse collector, jog on. All of this effort, you're not the right one. Ah, oh, so dumb, isn't it? So dumb that that's it. You, you made mistakes. I can't blame anyone else. It's obviously down to me. We've hit gold. We've hit the new champion. I've got a, a gold healer. Honestly, I'd much rather pull that, that uh, epic than this champion right now. This champion, half decent. That epic would unlock one of the best legendaries in the game for me right now. <laughs> oh my god. Go away, Deathless. Last chance. Another corpse collector. The free to play has failed hard. Hard fail. What is that? Hard failure. Sucks. Anyway, there you go. I'll be streaming tonight once I finish crying. I'll see you later on.